Now that's very nice. And it's even got subscribe in a nice perfect circle down in that bottom left hand corner. I reckon this could be the, the thumbnail. Welcome back, yes, to more Mid Journey Mastery. We're going to be checking out some awesome mid journey prompts once again there's going to be some really interesting ones some really practical ones quirky ones and maybe a few risky ones plus we're going to be taking a look at the new niji version 6 and style reference as well which is a new feature in which you can upload a photograph and then tell it to reference that photo for its style stuff like that we're going to be doing all of that so Anyway, let's crack on. So the interesting thing about this one is I actually developed this from something completely different. I'm gonna show you where the original prompt came. And obviously I've sort of jazzed it up a bit. I've been experimenting here, as you can see, hello. And we'll come to that later. Okay, so it was this one here. I just lifted this prompt. I'll tell you who prompted it a little bit later as we come to it, but it was this, captivating full length portrait Captures stunning female cyberpunk with amazing detail. Wearing blue, orange, black cyberpunk leather outfit. Camera focuses on her expressive eye. The streets neon lit. Creates a fast paced atmosphere. Photograph taken with a Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. The camera I bought my daughter. A 50 millimeter F 1.4 lens. Highlights the contrast between a focus and a high tech environment. And tech subscribe. I added this bit. And I also made it 16 by nine. And look at this, this is really cool because it's put subscribe on the t-shirt there and it spelt it right. I really like the dynamism in this photograph. Great action. You can see the Niji effect uh, there, the kind of anime look going on. Look, she's got different color eyes as well, just to kind of make it more interesting. I'm loving the orange jacket and all of that. Um, these were the original prompts that came out you say you've you've got that anime style which comes from the fact that we're using niji 6 there which of course if you're unfamiliar with mid journey niji if you put dash dash niji that is their specifically anime manga trained reference there so any images that you create that you put in niji will will kind of have a real anime manga blend to it Anyway, so I basically used the same thing, oddly enough, but I took some things out. I just put cap. So I used this captivating full length portrait captures a and then put stunning Japanese woman in her 40s. Now, the reason I put a Japanese woman in her 40s is because if you don't and, you know, look, whatever's your taste, it sort of goes, it defaults to a younger woman. But I mean, look, 40s, hello, very nice. You know what I'm saying? This was the original um, here. And look, there's a slight anime quality to it there. Again, this is a stunning Japanese woman in her 40s. Now, so, so what I did is I up, um, I upscaled. Yeah, so so even this has got Niji, Niji 6 on it, you know. I mean, it's, it's come out like a sort of perfect catalogue model shoot, you know. But I'm just loving the fact also the subscribe in the corner there. Let's look at some of the interesting prompts that I've been experimenting with over the last uh, few days. Now, this is one you can create your own vintage records for a band that never existed. So this is the prompt subject, vintage music style. So vintage and then your music style, record album cover, you can put like an era there, noir style, colours, optional effects. And then you get these sort of imaginary. These are really cool. They look like LPs from back in the day, you know, classic albums and this was my attempt here so i put like a this is my i'm into japanese city pop which is kind of a jazz funk disco fusion from the 1980s a bit easy listening and stuff and all of that i put in a prompt for this one i'll show you what the prompt is and it came up with this it's even look it's even giving it a barcode real vintage look looks like a real record somebody says here and here we are this was the prompt that i put in i gave it a title as well japanese j-pop singer from the 80s Vintage Japanese city pop record album cover, 1980s, noir style, red colours, Polaroid. So I set used the same prompt elements as the original prompt there. Uh, Tokyo Pop gave it a title. Remember, put it in inverted commas. Font description, um, elegant blocky drop shadow. I'm not sure it really got that font description. But as you can see, it's got it's certainly got that 80s style going on there. I really like it. I really love the imagery on it. 
again here there's some more um more of that didn't quite get the spelling right here which is a shame because this one's quite a cool one toco pop you know <laughs> i just want to show you this one quickly so this is really cool and this is where i'm finding mid journey becoming more and more actually useful this is a thumbnail okay for a video on one of my other channels about dating in your 50s and i asked chat gpt to come up with a prompt for a youtube thumbnail about dating in your 50s and these were some of them uh, that it came up with you know i didn't really quite like them split thumbnail showing a man with a shaved head no same here didn't quite like that so i tried this one YouTube thumbnail, question marks and hearts, graphic elements like question marks and hearts surrounding a thoughtful man in his 50s, indicating exploration of love and relationship at this age. It basically describing the thumbnail in great detail. And it came up with this, which is really cool. It works. These work as a thumbnail. I mean, the guy, you know, this is a guy in his 50s. No, oh, mid, mid journey. Maybe. This is a guy in his 50s. A joyful image of a man in his 50s with a Japanese partner. So it's assumed that the guy is Japanese as well. Both laughing or sharing a warm moment conveys happiness and connection achievable through dating at this age. And then this one here, which was a remix of one of these early ones. And I just tied it up a bit with a neat trim beard, wearing blue glasses yet yeah, in his 50s, indicating the exploration of love and relationships at this age. And it's basically one of these I actually used as the thumbnail in the end because it was perfect i just put in some text on the top like dating question mark and i've used a couple actually but th this is to me this is the perfect the perfect imagery for the video and i changed it up a bit i thought this one was slightly slightly better the bolt because of the more contrast in the colors nice bright red and the love hearts behind some of these i can't i don't really i'm not comfortable showing you <laughs> I mean, they're a bit Right, let's have a look at this one. This is from, wow, these are really cool. This is from Alin, Alin Reaper here. Loving this. Red gorilla with red mouth in front of him in the style of Unreal Engine, Ian McHugh, dynamic action scenes, pirate punk, blink and you miss the detail. Really nice. Let's try this one out, see what we get. I'm going to put in his wearing headphones. I just want him wearing headphones. Let's uh, let's call it a chimpanzee. Okay, we got one angry looking chimp here. Yeah, this one in the top top left here, he's he's a bit chill listening to music. That'd make a great thumbnail that. I'm loving this one. He's a bit aggressive down in the uh and, ver and much more stylistic. I like the you know the way the options that they've given you there. Too many wires going on on this one on top right, but this first one, really cool. I'm liking that a chimp with headphones. So we can have a closer look. Look at that. I'm loving that. That's really cool. Just chilling to some you know some cool monkey beats. Why not? This is from Ralph Lentjes. He did this in uh, Leonardo. Look at the detail down here. So much detail. This scene merges surrealism with punk featuring ethereal beings, including a prominent woman in a digital landscape lit by celestial light. It blends traditional art with digital glitches and organic with synthetic elements highlighted by dynamic light, augmented reality enhancements. The woman adds a powerful human element to the juxtaposition, embodying the fusion of reality and digital fantasy okay now i think i did do as this prompt earlier and of course i changed it to japanese woman but let's just go prominent japanese woman all right why not you know me it wouldn't be the same i'd feel bad if i didn't you know continue with my obsession with J japanese women in mid journey of course it would let's see what mid journey makes of this let's see what they've um they've done and now this is closer okay this is better i'm loving the almost the matrix japanese sort of matrix style writing uh, projected onto her face my daughter did some artwork where the model had uh sort of you know computer text and stuff projected onto her, her face this is sort of very sort of similar there they're all nice but i'm really liking this one with this sort of writing um projected on the background and on her face really cool i mean i just you know the billet 
So I'm beginning to take for granted that you can create these amazing images just by a simple prompt. It's crazy. But as you can see, very different from this, which was done on Leonardo. Just a shout out to Orkton AI, Orkton AI. That's where we got this cyberpunk one I did. That's a shout out to Orkton AI for helping me with this one that I did here. And I just added in the text on the subscribe uh, on the t-shirt there. Now let's say uh, this is a bit more risky. Okay, risque, a bit more risque. But originally I just put a Japanese woman relaxing on a beach, sensual in the style of Hajime Soriyama. Textured surface layers, gold and emerald, dynamic outdoor shots, realist detail, expansive skies. And we're doing it in Niji 6 there. And it came back with this. Or it came back with some other ones. And then I just thought, actually, I think we need to age up the woman, really. So in this one, I put a 30-year-old Japanese woman. Very skinny. Like you see the bones, I mean, that's not healthy, is it? But a very need, uh, very anime in its style, especially this one um, up here. Anyway, that's, you know, if you're interested, beach posing, yeah? We'll probably get you a woman in a bikini. Right, so let's talk about this style reference. So what you can do is you can upload a picture and use it as a style reference by putting this here, dash dash S reference, and then a link to the URL of the picture. So the picture in question, no, it's not that. That's not what I meant. Oh, no wonder it didn't. This is the picture. Ah, right, okay. So this artist here, I uploaded this photograph here, uh, and it's by a British graffiti artist called Hush. What I did is I uploaded it and did a describe. So I, I did, uh, I asked Midjourney to describe the picture and it came back with these four descriptions here. So if we put one of these in, it doesn't know who the artist is, but let's put one of these images in and then I'll show you how the style reference works. That's interesting because I was using the wrong picture earlier. I'm going to put in, right, I'm going to put in there. Right. Now you can, um, you put in how much you want it to feature by tweaking here the... Style ref the amount set the set the total strength of the stylation via um, SW one hundred where hundred is the default and a thousand is the maximum. So the more you want it to lean on that style, the higher that number. But let's for now just go with this and see what happens. Okay, this has worked really well. This has really captured the style. I've tried this before with this to recreate something similar to this artist and it came back with some nice pictures, but not as close to this style. So here we've got this sort of montage art style. This is an original piece of art by, as I say, by an artist called Hush. I've asked Midjourney to describe it and then I've used that picture as an actual reference. So I put in the imagine the description Midjourney gave me when I asked it to describe the photograph and then I put the reference in and it's come back with this which is really close to that original art style. Here's the original art style by the artist and this is Midjourney's attempt to riff on that style. Wow that's really impressive or sad for the artist in question, because it's really captured the style of the artist really, really well. I think if artists were worried before, because it doesn't even, in the prompt, it doesn't even quote the actual artist. It's assuming it's an artist, a different artist. I could have one of these created as a print and put it on my wall next to the version of the hush one that I've got. That's bang on the money. That is bang on the money of the original artist style. There's the original artist style. That's a mid journey's interpretation. Really cool. Really good. That style reference works really well. We should try some more later. Definitely. But I'm super impressed with that style reference. I was doing it all wrong before I was putting in the wrong picture. So check these ones out. These are really cool. Look at that. Some street fighter there. Um, more street uh, fighter or Tekken style. Really cool. So this is from Peric Chevalier again, IA. And the prompt is subject emerged in a surge of intense and then power description. 
The explosive scene amplifies his brawling strength and heroic charisma. Okay, so we look at this. Yeah, Ryu from Street Fighter, immersed in Hadouken energy. And this one is a scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, intense hellfire. And this one is Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero. And of course, this one is Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury with the geezer, geyser energy. Right. Not like geezer, you know, Essex geezer energy. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to put Godzilla in this. So Godzilla immersed in a surge of atomic power. And I'm gendering Godzilla here, but only because I can't be bothered to change it. But, you know, go with it. Let's see what we get. Okay, so here we go. Godzilla doing what Godzilla does. You can see the surge of power in his spines at the back there. I think, I mean, they're all good. I think this one is my favorite. Some buildings in the background. But here, the power, the atomic power surging through him. Well, both of these bottom ones, actually. This is my preferred idea of Godzilla. This one, the bottom left-hand corner. There we go. Nice Godzilla. Nice Godzilla image. Oh, I just realized, look. On my uh, on my mug, Should go back to the original prompt. Look, there he is. Ah, Ryu, not in my Street Fighter mug. So Ludwig, the creator here, and he's going Golden Age illustration. And he talks about the Golden Age of illustration was a period of significant artistic achievement in the late 19th and early 20th centuries characterized by exceptional work in book and magazine illustration. The era is notable for the way it combined artistic quality with emerging technologies of the time to produce widespread and accessible art. And then you've got these brilliant images. And I particularly like this old man here. Old man sitting on a bench, golden illustrations, grotesque imagery. Okay, so we're going to use this golden age illustrations. Um, and we're going to have a, a features... I'm going to put older surfer just to, you know, just to mix things up a bit. So it's not all, you know, Japanese women and Godzilla. Let's put a surfer on there. Okay. I'm really liking these. Look at these. Oh, these feel really artistic in a way that the artist has somehow captured the inner thoughts of this old surfer dude. Yeah. Especially this, these two, the number two and number four, especially particularly like number Number two, look at that guy. He's going to surf. This is, he's never given up, is he? He's got his tattoos on there. I just love the expression. And it's just a great image. It's just great artistry there. Imagine if you had a surf shop in Santa Monica. I'm just riffing here, right? And that was on painted in massive painting on the side of your shop or a, a cafe by the beach or something. Wouldn't that be cool? That was painted on the wall. In that kind of level of detail, look at his sinewy body here. I really like the artistic style of that. That's a great artistic style. So this is when um, Niji 6 first came out and people, this is J EZ, EZ, very excited. And these are a couple of uh, images that she did in a style she calls trash core. So definitely you've got that beautiful kind of anime manga style especially this one in the face of this, if this dude. And here's the actual prompt. Illustration of a guy in streetwear in the style newspaper advertisement, James Below. Expressive poses, light blue, light black, trash core pop culture portraits. Loving it. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. Oh, look at, look at that. I'm going to go animal. This is from Nostradogamus. Nostradogamus. I love that. Nostradogamus. I'm going to I'm going to put a monkey wearing headphones in streetwear. Monkey. OK, uh, in that style, let's give it a go and see what we come up with. OK. Wow. Oh, these are super cool. These are really nice. Look at that. That is this one here. Oh, I love this style. That's really cool. Look at this. Look at the dude here. Look at this chimp. Is it a monkey or a chimpanzee? Can't tell. This one here is great. Um, let's enlarge that one. Number two. Look at that. Really cool 
imagery, a game with that kind of painted style that you get with Niji 6. It's not like strong anime. I mean, the headphones aren't quite on his ear, but that's cool. But I'm loving what he's wearing, his streetwear. That's so cool. I really like that. I'm just loving the paint strokes here and the shadows. <laughs> that, is, that is great. Let me know if you give it a go. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and create this record cover style. I want to create the band that never was. Well, when I, when I was in um, when I was at school, me and my mates wanted to start a band. None of us could play, of course, and uh, we we but we spent a long time trying to come up with the name of the band because that's what you do when you're a kid at school, isn't it? Let's form a band, but we need the name first. You spend more time thinking of a name, whether rather than contemplating whether any of you can actually play an instrument. I'm going to put Rockstar, Vintage. I'm going to put Punk, Album Cover. No, I'm going to put 1970s, Black, White, and Yellow. I'm thinking there of Nevermind the, never the Bollocks, Monochrome. I'll just leave them all in. And then we're going to put the word. We're going to put the band name that we came up with, with Art of Pain. No, not the Art of Noise. It predates the Art of Noise. And because I basically went through the uh, in the library and came across a book called art of pain which is all about painkillers and then we're going to put here font description newspaper letters cut out right something like that i've no idea what we're going to get with this one but you know oh yes look at this i don't like the typeface here art art of of pain but i quite like this one here because it's got newspaper cuttings at the back there's almost sort of Sid Vicious style there it's sort of the montage of newspapers but I'm liking it I'm liking the style let's go number two yeah I'm loving the yellow and the black that's what I wanted there monochrome art of pain that's the album cover and even the writing down here the copyright you know kind of writing and all of that that's the album cover for the band, my imaginary band that never existed, that never got formed at school because none of us could play an instrument. Who needs that? We've got, we've got the band name, Art of Pain. I love the subtlety of it down there. We've got the band name. We've got the album cover. Now we just need to learn to play some music, write some music and produce an album. And there you go. Art of Pain coming to a record shop near you on vinyl. Love it. Absolutely love it. One more. We can go a bit risque this let's try this one i'm up in the age i don't want to be accused of anything dodgy and we're going to see what happens i'm going to do one that's not niji style we'll take that out and then i'll do so we're doing it with that let's see what happens okay so here we go 40 year old japanese woman relaxing on a beach posing sensual in the style of hajimi soriyama Textured surface layers, gold, emerald, dynamic outdoor shots. They're actually, she's in the, what? Yeah, she's, so, okay. They're a bit sort of surreal because they're, this one's nice. But this one, she's sort of floating in the sea, fully clothed. This one is a bit stylistic, feels unrealistic. I don't know what she's wearing here, but this one's nice. Let's make this very number three and make it 16 by nine that could be the thumbnail i think the problem here i mean they look great but the focus is on this sort of weird clothing that they've got and i think it's because of the textured surface layers golden emerald what if i what if we take that out let's start again i'm going to take it out i'm going to take out that and we'll see what happens then because i think the whole textured surface layers golden emerald is driving this kind of weird dress outfit that she's decided to kind of this expensive silk dress thing and she's decided to go and uh, lie in some sea salt okay this much more much more realistic in its style what is she thinking about there this is nice off there thinking in deep thought i think one and two this looks a bit posed i like this one she's just thinking of thinking of something yeah don't you want to be lying on that beach? She's just chilling in a slightly oversized coat there. We're just going to change the style up here to Niji 6. But we're going to try the Niji style. I just want to see what difference. So same prompt, but we're going 
Niji style there. Now, okay. So this is, this is, it's the Niji style that does it. It's suddenly, because it's anime, it's trained on anime and manga images. And in that, probably most of the, the women look young and all wear bikinis. It suddenly, you get this. Very different. Exactly the same prompt. I mean, this slightly more photo real, this sort of real manga stuff and the eyes here. This is very painterly clouds. I like the, the painterly style there, but this looks much more photo real. And look, so if we just, my partner's going to kill me <laughs> doing these things. Oh no, it's got a painterly style to it. That's the Niji effect. Yeah. Exactly the same prompt. 40 year old Japanese woman relaxing on a beach, posing sensual. This is what we got with that. When you just do style raw version six, exactly the same 40 year old, 40 year old Japanese woman relaxing on the beach, style raw Niji six. And suddenly they're all in bikinis. Yeah. You telling me 40 year old, is that that's anime and mangas version of a 40 year old Japanese woman, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I don't think so. That's closer to a 40 year old woman. Even that looks too young. But in my experience, Japanese women look younger than their age. My partner is an example. Very interesting. Dare I make any of these the thumbnail? That would be interesting. Yeah, just as, as a clickbait. I don't know. A bit pervy, isn't it? You see, to be honest, I much prefer this. But each to their own, as they say, each to their own. That is the power of Niji, right? In Mid Journey. Anyway. There you go. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it useful. I know we focused a lot on the old Japanese women in mid journey today, but hopefully there's some interesting things in there, some practical things in there, and you enjoyed the journey. If you did, then please remember to hit the likes as I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find content just like this. And if you're new to my channel, then do me the great honor. Aragata Gazimas, please hit that subscribe button. Toggle that notification bell and that way you'll know when I go live with videos just like this. And talking of videos just like this, if you haven't checked out my other Mid Journey videos here, then I suggest that you do. The ones over there, they're really good. Thanks for your time.